Hey everybody, it's Scott Hoover with Hollywood.com and we're here at Premier Magazine's Women in Hollywood event where we're going to get you some advice from some of the most powerful actresses in Hollywood. been like hu huge progress but it's, it's been a long time coming and there's still much more to do but I fortunately I get to be on a show where they write amazing uh, roles for women. Women's roles are we're being allowed to play sort of fully flawed and complicated characters so I think that's a good sign. I think when I read scripts I still feel like the more challenging roles are for men usually written for men and a lot of the great roles are written for men so I think it's still a struggle but I think we do need to see more um, stories where the male is the central figure, where it could be the female, an equal amount. I think it should be equal. <laughs> I don't think it's particularly a good time for women in Hollywood, myself. Uh, I don't think there's enough films for women. Um, there's a handful every year, a tiny handful. There are probably more parts for women. Not enough yet, but more parts. There's a lot of good writing and people that are interested in complicated, um, material, whether it's serious or, or, or funny, are certainly out there, you know, trying to get their, their pictures made. Probably more than any other industry, there's, uh, there's women in key creative positions and, um, you know, artistic positions, financial positions um, in the film industry, probably more so than any other industry I can think of offhand. I think absolutely. Sofia Coppola winning the Oscar, she's the first female ever to win for Best Writer, Best, best Original Screenplay. Um, and I think that there's many more female filmmakers. I mean, you have Kimberly Pierce, Nicole Hollisetter, Tamara Jenkins. You know, you, you can name 15 off, and I think 10 years ago you could probably name two. You could name Penny Marshall and Penelope Spears. But now we have a lot of women. I think that those pioneering women made it possible. I think the concerns are that, you know, there's still a lot of roles that are seemingly just eye candy roles, you know, and, and not a lot of substance for women. A lot of women today are really intent upon, <clears throat> like I said, playing these characters as honestly and as authentically as possible without beauty being the first goal. I think a lot of times people still kind of keep women in the category of, you know, mother or, um, you know, girlfriend or slutty girlfriend. <laughs> So there's a lot more in between. I think things are, are changing as we go and we just have to continue supporting each other. Perhaps the stereotype, the typical woman, is not, is not so prevalent anymore. And so there is a kind of different aspect about women in film and I think that's very good and healthy. I'm attracted to things that are complicated where women are, I hope, sort of flushed out rather than sort of idealized or vilified or one way or the other. But, but flushed out full human beings with flaws and good points and bad points and humor and you know grandeur and silliness and all of it. Uh, that, that's, that's where the good writing is. And do you have a piece of advice for you know the girls who are about to become women in Hollywood? Mm, I'd say stay strong in who you are individually. I say just stick to who you are and, and really don't let anybody talk you into anything you're not comfortable with or into changing your personality or who you are as a person. Be confident in yourself and uh, and and be supportive of one another. Keep reading and keep living because I think when you act as a child uh, it's important that you keep your life going because when all of a sudden you become a woman things are different. Study, read, um, think seriously about what you want to do, uh, work in the theater, uh, work in dramatic literature, go to good teachers, find them. Keep on trucking, sisters. It's hard, but you know, if it's what you love to do, you just keep at it and eventually you'll get to where you want to be.